Hey guys, welcome back to another scanner review on the Super Kai Guy channel. Today we're taking a look at a launch 123 code reader with system diagnostics capabilities on four main modules. Let's start by taking a look at what comes in the box and check out the device itself before we jump in the car and test the features. So as you can see, this is the actual device. It has this rubberized coating type of stuff on the back, which I like for this kind of product. You know, you can drop it and not be really afraid that it's going to get really scratched up or destroyed. So that's nice. Let's peel off this. Yes, get rid of that. So you can see nice, clean screen. What else comes in the box? Well, we have the user manual, actually pretty well written. It shares it with the 129, the more powerful version of the scanner. We also have a quick start guide. So it'll tell you how to log in, uh, connect to Wi-Fi, update, you know, simple things like that, how to plug it into the car. Hopefully you already know how to do that. You also get this case, which is nice if you throw it in the car, in the trunk or whatever you keep your scanner, it's nice to have it just available in a nice thing so it doesn't scratch the screen and everything else. You got your USB plug for charging. Just one of these barrel plugs so it's not a micro usb or anything but works just fine it will also charge from your car so if you plug it into your obd2 port it will charge as well so you got the cable as well so it's not wireless now let's take a quick look at this box as you can see it comes in one of these cardboard boxes obviously you're not going to keep it or anything but let's see what they claim here go to the back we see that it uh, it does full coverage on domestic Asian European cars since 1992 when the OBD2 was implemented. It can read and clear DTC, so the codes of the vehicle, and has special functions for engine, transmission, ABS, and SRS systems, which is kind of the main point of this scanner. And that's why, you know, the scanner is 100, I think it was $60 or so, but they have usually have a $20 discount code you know, instead of like a $50 scanner. So you, you're able to view all of the data within these modules. Uh, not, not only that, you can uh, read vehicle specific codes as well as clear those. And you can actually see live data for that specific module as well. It's a touch screen. You can do wireless updates, which is awesome compared to some of the other ones I've done in the past where you have to plug it into the computer or pull the SD card. This just does it wirelessly. So that's pretty sweet. We also have a 5 inch 720p IPS screen. Awesome. We have vehicle battery voltage display and built in rechargeable battery. Yes, we've talked about that. It does auto VIN. Um, I like those because you don't have to like look what your vehicle is specifically. You can just simply have it do it for you. A little bit more information on here, but yeah, they're claiming it to be a professional scanner that will, you know, allow you to do things that normal scanners don't. And that they're referring to these four different modules that they can scan. A car will normally have maybe 20 or even more modules, but in most of the times you will never use anything outside of the engine transmission, EBS type of stuff, unless you're kind of a shop or a little bit more professional. Well, yeah, that's about it. Let's turn it on pretty quick. As you can see, it powers back on pretty quick. It's Android system, so it works well. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and it's still at 31%. So the battery lasts a very, very long time. I actually got some upgrades, so I'll update it. Go back down to the car, plug it in and see what we can, what kind of features we can get from this. And is it worth the money? Let's get to it. Alrighty guys. So it's been a few minutes and all of the updates have finished. I'm now in my BMW 550. So let's plug it in and see how it works. All right, so I plugged it in. Now it's telling me that it's charging at the same time, obviously indicated by this battery symbol here. So it automatically opens the auto VIN and it's gonna scan my car. It got my VIN number. I'm gonna block some of it out, of course, but there you go. It got the year model, uh, make and model of the car. And it's asking if we would like to proceed with the system detection. So we're gonna say, okay. All right, so after a few seconds, it starts to scan the modules that are available for it to scan, which like I mentioned earlier on this scanner is four, uh, four different modules. We have the transmission, transfer case, ABS, so your braking system and the, AB, uh, the SRS, so airbags and things like that. 
So that's pretty nice. So we have those available in here and you can go into each one individually. So you can click on here and see if there's any codes or anything stored like that. But this is just kind of like a very quick report on the vehicle to see if there's anything wrong with it, right? Of course, we can dig a lot deeper into this. So let's go do that. I'm gonna go ahead back. Yes, I want to exit. So now we're back at the main menu. So let's take a look at some of the settings first and some of the other stuff before we proceed to the main event. Here at the settings, we can see we have different units of measurement, screen capture. So you can take like screenshots right here. Bam, I just took a screenshot. Uh, you can see if you'd like that function, automatic detection on connect where it auto scanned the vehicle and started to scan it for like a basic diagnostics. You can turn it off if you don't want it. If you want to do your own thing, you can adjust all these kinds of settings and of course connect to different Wi-Fi networks, recovery, clean up, so you can uh, erase the unit if you'd like to sell it or things like that. And you don't want people to see what kind of the numbers you've been scanning. Let's go back to here now. This is the upgrade option. So you can go in here and see what, what is available for updates. Uh, I'm outside, so my Wi-Fi is really bad in here, but you can see all of the stuff that can be updated. These are already latest versions, uh, but yeah, you can upgrade all the stuff. Very easy. It doesn't take much time at all. It basically just depends on your download speed. The rest is very quick. All right, so now let's look at the actual like the meat and potatoes of this scanner. We have the diagnostics. So this is where you can read the four modules, go into the live data for those modules, as well as clear, read and clear codes. OBD2, this is basically the generic OBD2 code reader like you would see on almost any other reader. So this is like the same as everything else. This is what differentiates this one from the cheaper, less expensive uh, scanners. I am writing this, so this is to see if your car will pass emissions. So let's go ahead and do that. You just click on it and it does everything else. This is kind of like a dressed up code reader type of thing. There you go. It gives you nicely presented um, information to see if you'll pass your test emission. Yeah, quit out of that. Battery voltage. This will just show the voltage of your battery when you start. This would definitely help to see if it dips too low for, let's say, for startup and your battery's going bad, things like that. Kind of convenient to have it here. Data, we'll have the records of the diagnostics that we've done in the past. I've erased everything before I started, so we don't kind of disclose any stuff that we don't want to see. We also have cloud reports and local reports. So when you run a report, you can save it and you have it locally available in here. DTC library, so you can look up any code that you like, and it's going to give you a lot more information about that. DLC, so this is just like data link connector where you plug it in, so it gives you instructions the same as in the quick guide that came in the box. Feedback, so you can write them an email. Image, this is where all the stuff that we uh, take a picture of, that's where it gets stored. Firmware fix, this is if you have issues connecting your uh obd2 port and like if it's not recognizing properly you can run that and it's gonna help you out all right now oh, ooh, the last one before i go to the main event mall so this is where you can actually add additional functionality to the device unfortunately with my really slow wi-fi here i might have to show you this once i'm back in the house but basically here you can add additional things like for example, reading different, you know, other modules, like you can read the module of the gear shifter or things like that. And I believe it's 20 bucks per year. So I'll show that once we are, uh, have good Wi-Fi connection. All right, so now let's go into the diagnose tab, which is the main event of the scanner. And here you can use that same auto detect that we uh, had launched automatically on startup, but I'm just gonna click on BMW, which is gonna take us to the diagnostics uh, tool basically we're gonna let it scan the car and now you can automatically search so it'll find all the modules that are available for this car or available for this scanner like I said it's the the four modules the transmission engine ABS and brakes well let's do manual uh, selection actually no let's do automatic search why not click automatic search it's gonna find the vehicle and the modules 
So I found all of the information, everything looks good. Click next. Now we have health report. Let's see what that does. Okay, so health report is what we saw earlier. That's the same scan. It will scan everything and it will, you know, you can either clear the codes or create a report. Let's go back or we can do a system scan. Once it loads, it'll show you the modules that you can work on at this time. Uh, as you can see, we have the transmission, transfer case, anti-lock, braking system, and the uh, SRS, kind of like we saw earlier. Um, for some reason, the engine's not showing up, but I've had this issue with other scanners as well, so I just have to look into my car and see what's going on. But anyway, let's go ahead and try going into the transmission module. It'll communicate with it, give you the information on that module and it will show you uh, a few different options. You can read default codes. These will be vehicle specific codes and not uh, codes, you know, generic OBD2 port, uh, codes, which is very important. You can clear those codes as well, of course. And the most important part here is you can read the data stream. So this is not the generic PIDs that you see in OBD2. This is where you can actually, uh, you know, see like operating variables so you can see all of this information let's say we can do engine speed engine temp uh let's see actual, actual gear i don't know turbine speed right and you can click, oh, click ok and now you have all of that information quickly displayed for you we can also go to graph so we can graph this data as well we can combine click ok there you go, click OK, and then we can see all of the data being graphed very nicely. So there you go. Very helpful when troubleshooting for sure. All right, let's go back. So yeah, there's a lot of different stuff you can select in here. You can also look at like gear indicators. So, you know, actual gear, click OK. We're in gear one because we're, you know, sitting in, in park. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we also have voltage supply, so you can see different voltages at different stages. So we have batteries, solenoid, terminal 15, so that's whether your car is kind of on or not at the DME. Uh, clutch related adaptation values. So a lot of information you can see here, adaptation functions. So, you know, different stuff for the axle. This is very, very useful information that you will not get from a regular OBD2 scanner. So this scanner, like I said, can do it on those four different modules, uh, which is a very, very big positive for it. The negative of this scanner, of course, is that it can only do it for those four modules and it will not be able to scan every single module on the car. But that's kind of normal. You know, you'd expect to spend at least 250 to $400 on that kind of scanner that will be able to scan every single module. Now you can also share reports from here, which is cool. So when you uh, do these kind of scans, you can then select that report to be uh, shared. So you can share it kind of wirelessly, which is nice. The battery is also 6,100 uh, milliamp hours, which is a lot for a scanner like this. It lasts a very long time and it charges from the OBD2 when you're using it. So that's nice. Um, okay, and one of the last options I'm gonna show you here is OBD2. This is what the generic uh, scanners can do but it's still important to you know make sure that this one can do it well as well but in general I just wanted to say that you get a high you get high-end features for a pretty decent price uh, it pays for itself if, if you use it more than once you pretty much paid for itself so good deal to me as you can see these are the standard options that you would normally see on OBD2 scanners you can do read live data. These are the PIDs. So these are like the general OBD2 kind of sensor information. Um, you know, we can select whatever you like. Fuel rail pressure as, as, an, as an example. Click OK. You can combine and click OK. Click, them. click OK and you have all of that stuff graphed as well. This graphing stuff is really, really nice. I really like that part. Okay, let's go back. All right, so you cl clearly have, you can read your uh, just generic OBD2 codes as well, clear them at the same time. Um, a, a few other information pieces in here that you would expect, like uh, your IM readiness once again. So, see, after cleared, and it will 
scan the car and show you if it's ready or not ready so you see ready 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 not supported ready 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 so the car's ready to be to go through emissions um but that's honestly that's pretty much it it's just a very nice uh, scanner that can do four different systems on your vehicle the ones that are mostly used by most people for i guess for most uh, most of the troubleshooting that you would expect uh, would I get this if I was running like a big shop? Probably not. I'd upgrade to a version that can do all modules and things like that. Is this an overkill for an average person? I don't think so. Since it does multiple vehicles, if you have one or two or three cars in the household, you can easily scan them and get to most of the issues very easily without having to run to the dealer or a local shop and, you know, spend $200 on diagnosis. So easy to use, touch screen, Wi-Fi updates, a lot of good, useful items and if you'd like to purchase one on amazon i'll have a link down in the description at the time of filming they're 160 bucks and they have uh, i think 20 dollar coupon right now so use that if you want to get a bit of a discount but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you like this review if you do i have plenty more so check those out on my channel subscribe for more car related videos and if you like this video hit that like button Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this scanner. Is it worth the money? Is it better or worse than you expected? I don't know. You tell me. I'll see you guys in the next one.